It was 20 years ago this weekend that a 21-year-old Wyoming college student named Matthew Shepard was lured from a bar, robbed and beaten in an attack that would take his life. Shepard's death sparked vigils around the world and two decades now of activism in his name. Matthew's parents turned their grief into action as they worked to protect people like their son. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has our Sunday Spotlight. A performer takes his place on stage. My son Matthew did not look like a winner. But the lines he's delivering are his words, and the story he's telling is his own. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son and hero died. The Laramie Project, a landmark play, explores the events surrounding the murder of University of Wyoming student Matthew Shepard. Go home, give your kids a hug. And for the first time, Matt's father, Dennis Shepard, is reading his part. It's been 20 years since the tragedy rocked the country and began to reshape the way we think about hate crime. It's hard when you say it out loud that it's been 20 years that we've been without Matt almost as long as we had Matt. Um, that's really heartbreaking for me. On the night of October 6, 1998, two men targeted and abducted Matt, driving him to a remote area east of Laramie, Wyoming. Jason Marsden leads the foundation that bears his friend's name. They reached a dead end toward the end of this road and took Matt out of the truck, tied him to a, a buck fence that's just out here past this hillside behind me and hit him in the head 19 to 21 times with the butt end of a 357 pistol. Matt was tortured and left to die, found by a bicyclist after 18 hours. He never regained consciousness and died five days later. At 12.53 a.m. this morning, Matthew Shepard died. The tragedy would become one of the most notorious anti-gay hate crimes in American history. Matt's funeral and the murder trials, which led to multiple life sentences, dominated the media. Everybody, male and female, could look at Matt and see something that was similar to what their experiences were. The correspondence we got was easily half from the straight community. I didn't know this was happening. I had no idea. It was ignorance. Mainstream media had not at all covered the gay community outside of the AIDS pandemic and the pride parades once a year. The Shepherds' lives were altered forever. They would go on to lead an activist movement that more than a decade later would result in passage of the Hate Crimes Prevention Act, a federal law against biased crimes directed at LGBT people. You know, I just saw this very bright, intellectual, worldly young person it's one of the mysteries that keeps you going. I can't ever really know what he might have been able to accomplish, but I have a pretty good idea of what we can accomplish in his name if we keep doing it. And so we do. Work that remains urgent today. Hate crimes reported to police in America's 10 largest cities rose an average of 12.5% in 2017. We in no way anticipated that we would make this giant U-turn. I just feel like we're having to start all over. Despite the challenges ahead, the memory of Matt lives on. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. I miss my son, but I'm proud to say he is my son. For Sunday Today, Stephanie Gosk, 